All right, thanks, KP. Welcome back to the Dakota Mac Husker Game Day Show. I'm Ben McLaughlin. We're happy to be joined by a couple of our favorite gentlemen to talk to, both about their company and about Husker sports. A couple of former Huskers, Matt Hoskinson, Chad Kelsey of Truck Center Companies. Um, of course, our, our tremendous road game sponsors, as always. Gentlemen, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Appreciate appreciate being here. Absolutely. Always fun to uh, come on with you guys. Um, well, Chad, I, I suppose let's start with you. We talked a couple of weeks ago uh, for the Wisconsin game just about some of the new things that uh, your boys at Truck Center Company are doing and um, that, that really pride themselves on. And um, I suppose let's start with just some of the, some of the basics and, and reminding folks you know, what, what the purpose of you guys are and um, you know, really what you pride yourselves on. Yeah, Truck Center Companies, we're a family-owned business, been around for over 40 years. We're one of the largest uh, Freightliner truck dealership groups in the country. We've got eight locations throughout Nebraska, Kansas, and Iowa. And so, you know, the, the business is all about taking care of our customers. And, uh, you know, while, while we sell uh, uh, Freightliner, Western Star, Isuzu, Ottawa brand vehicles, um, you know, the most important part is, is when customers have issues, we, we get them in, we take care of them, and we get them back on the road as soon as we can. And Matt, I, I know one of the things that probably is the most beneficial is the locations of these, you know, being in the Midwest, everything kind of runs through where we're at and, and opening more locations by the year. I'm sure, you know, the growth has been probably what, what you've hoped for, but just the, the locations and, and the ability of, of drivers to go wherever you know in the country that's right you know we're at we're at the confluence of some major inter, interstate systems right here in the in the middle of the country so the fact that i-29 runs right through us i-80 runs right through us we're north and south through kansas and, and nebraska um the those things are really important to us obviously they're really important to the transportation community but the the fact that our owner trey Mitty is looking at making sure that we expand, not not just for the betterment of the business, but to make sure that we take care of our customers in the best way possible. It's something that's really important to us. Um, so yeah, I, it's a, growth is a term that we like to use and throw around our company. Uh, growing our company means that we can better take care of our customers, and that's ultimately what we're trying to do. Part of that is taking care of the trucks and taking care of, of the people. And of course, now with the, with the weather getting colder, football weather, is, as you boys love, um, you know, winter is a time to take some some precautionary measures, and it's something that you guys cater to. You know, absolutely. Uh, as they say, sometimes you know the uh, the best offense is a good defense, and Matt knows all about that from uh, you know our, our defense. Well, don't forget it. Don't don't forget a good offensive line is good too. <laughs> uh, you know, it, we'll take that definitely. But uh, yeah, our preventive maintenance program uh, really wraps itself around a comprehensive twenty one point inspection, and, and basically we're checking out everything to make sure that your vehicle's operating at uh, peak uh, peak performance and uh, you know at the end of the day making sure that we're keeping trucks maintained is going to cost you a lot less in the long run um, and so that's something we've got a, a real fo uh, focus on to make sure that uh, that the equipment's up and going and, and is going to operate uh, at a peak performance when you need it yeah a hundred percent i mean identifying a problem before it's a problem is is probably best case scenario for the truckers and matt i know one of the things that uh, we've been talking about more so this year is the elite support aspect of truck center companies and i know that's something you're pretty familiar with yeah i'm, I'm what's called our dealer family cic so elite support is our continuous improvement platform sponsored by our parent company uh, it's extremely important to us all of our dealerships are elite support certified so the question becomes how what does that mean to you if you're a if you're an owner operator or if you own a trucking company, how, how does that relate to you? Well, I'll give you one example, and that would be our express assessment. Express assessment just means to you that you bring your truck to us, and, and upon initial arrival to our facility within two hours, we're going to give you as much information as we can possibly give. What's wrong with your truck, initial diagnosis, estimated repair costs. We want to get that information so that you can make an accurate and good business decision in a timely fashion. So we want to be able to track these things and take care of our customers and at the end of the day no one's excited when they have to bring their truck to us to be to be repaired so our job is to make sure that they're as comfortable as they can possibly be they have the information that they need to make a great business decision yeah well said and chad i know another th thing that uh, that we talked about a couple of weeks ago is the customer support let's just talk first about the standards that that you hold um your, your employees to when it when it comes to this and um, some of the some of the things and the feedback that you get that that encourage you know where you diverse other areas that, when it comes to customer support yeah our specifically our customer support group is a, a group we started about 12 to 18 months ago and the focal point of that group is uh, being kind of the outreached 
third party kind of take care of your customer group so that fleets and customers that we work with that that may not have the manpower to have somebody dedicated to uh, making sure the the fleet is up and going and operating the way it should uh, we operate as uh, kind of fill in and take care of that that service for our customers and uh, one big component of that is really what you're seeing in the industry is from a telematics perspective uh, uh, Detroit Connect is a technology platform that uh, we leverage on behalf of our customers um, it wraps around a number of different areas but really from a uh, remote diagnostic perspective uh, we've got technology called virtual technician and really what that does is that's a, a remote diagnostic technology that we're able to monitor trucks when there's issues that arise and there's fault codes we're able to identify are these service now types of situations or are they service soon where where a customer can continue to operate on their route get the truck back to their home base and then uh, have whatever issue addressed at that time if it's the the, the first where it's a service now type mm -hmm. of event then we can communicate with our customers and let them know okay where you're at in the country based on gps we're able to tell them that okay here's the closest dealerships that have parts available and we're able to proactively work with that dealership get the customer uh, scheduled to come in for service get the issue taken care of so that they can be back out on the road as soon as possible because at the end of the day you know it's, it's all about uptime um, you know if, if a truck is not out on the road operating and running uh, our customers aren't making money and so we recognize that's a, a key key uh, focal point and uh, really it's uh, priority number one yeah great stuff um, Matt I, I, I suppose we uh, we talked a little bit about this with Chad last week but you used the word growth earlier and with that probably comes some some open opportunities for people that are, that are interested in this. And I can't imagine a better place than right in the middle of the country in Nebraska. People probably know a lot about this stuff and maybe have um, an eye or ear out for, for this. Where can they go to get involved and, and tell us a little bit about, you know, what that growth has done in terms of employment opportunities? Well, first of all, you know, we're trying to do a lot of the same things that Coach Frost is trying to do down here in Lincoln. We're trying to recruit the best possible talent to what we believe is the best company in the business, and that's Truck Center Companies. So for, first and foremost, you can jump on truckcentercompanies.com. You can find the the available jobs. I mean, we're honestly we're looking for pretty much everything imaginable as it relates to trucking. We're looking for diesel technicians, body technicians, and there are a lot of other areas in parts and service and, and sales that that and management for that matter that we're really looking for the best talent that we can possibly find. Trey has done a really good job of recruiting top tier talent, and we believe that we well, I'll, I'll even go farther than that. We know that we do it better than the competition. And if you want to work for a winning team, I think it's pretty obvious what company you need to research. You need, you need to go on go online, check us out, learn a little bit about the company, and come and work for a winning team. Great stuff. Uh, Matt Hoskinson, Executive VP, Chad Kelsey, VP of Sales. Um, well, now we can kind of let our hair down, talk a little football. That Both of you boys are, are familiar with it. Uh, Matt, I, I haven't had a chance to talk to you. I know you had a chance to, to sit down with Coach Frost and kind of um, you know, run around the mill, see, get an update. Just what, what's your take of everything that's happening right now? So we did, we had a chance to go observe a little bit of practice today. And I, I told coach Frost, I was going to put a whole bunch of words in his mouth here during, during this interview. No, I'm, I'm really not going to do that, <laughs> but, uh, it, it's, it's always fun to come back and see this group of guys. It's fun to see coach Frost and some of the things that these guys are doing out at practice. And, and you can actually visibly see from the time that we first started coming at the beginning of the year, you can see the changes that these guys are making, how much more developed they are. Um, I think when you watch the product on the field, if you know anything about football, and I'm talking anybody from guys like Chad and I that have played to the layperson, you can see what this is going to become. And I, I, I know that fans can be impatient. I know a lot of people can be impatient, but at, at the end of the day, what we're trying to look for is we're trying to build a program like we used to have this foundational layer and Scott and the staff, they're doing a great job of doing that very thing. Um, the recruiting has been really good. We've got a lot of good news lately on the recruiting mm -hmm. front that will continue. Um, these guys are out hunting, but they're, they're also about developing the kids that are currently here. So I love what I'm seeing on the field. Offensively, we know what this is going to become. I know coach and has done a really good job with, with what he has. Um, and we need to continue to recruit good players to supplement the good ones that we already have on the field. So I, I love what they're doing. I'm excited about Husker football, and I think most Husker fans see that, and I think they're excited about it too. Chad, I feel like every time you and I sit down, we're playing one of these big games. Last time it was Wisconsin. I know, you know, a couple of years ago, we, you know, Ohio State, Wisconsin. Seems like every time we're we're playing one of these one of these big ones. But um, shoot, Oklahoma. Texas these are these are the games that that you know you grew up playing and and watched as a Husker fan 
this is why this is what college football is all about you know getting these opportunities absolutely and uh, you know the guys that are going to go out on that field uh, uh, and play Ohio State I mean that's that's why they're here and that's why you want to be here and that's why you want to be at a program like Nebraska because you want to go out and uh, be part of a team that that gets the opportunity to play uh, some of the best programs in college football. And, uh, you know, obviously we'll have our hands full uh, with Ohio State. But with that said, uh, the progress that Matt was talking about that you've seen uh, through the first part of the year, um, what is exciting is that you know that with the progress is coming uh, or is bringing along, you know, this, this uh, mentality that, hey, we can go out and, and play with anybody. And I think that attitude and that belief is uh, more than just talk that you see in interviews. Uh, the progress this team has made uh, or has made is, is awesome. Um, and I, I truly think that, you know, when they step on the field on Saturday that, you know, they fully believe that, uh, you know, they can go toe to toe with Ohio State and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, want to have a chance to, to come home with a W. Yeah. I suppose you're the best one to direct this question to since you were an O-lineman, you'd be blocking for this guy. But, you know, Matt, any more in college football seems like when, when there's any type of adversity, the first thought for players is to leave and and to, you know, want to try something else or this isn't for them. Divine Zigbo is going to be a guy that we talk about four or five years from now for a guy that stuck with it. And I know when, when you two were playing, that's the way that things were. You know, sometimes you didn't play till you were a senior and, and you understood that. Times have changed quite a bit, but he's kind of saving us right now with, with his with his mentality, his work ethic to stick with it and wait his turn. And now all the glory is coming to him. And I know there's probably not someone more happy for him than Coach Frost. I, I, I know Coach Frost is happy for him. He's, he's pleased with the mentality. But this is a guy that you can hang your hat on as – you bring other people into the program and say, look, look, look what this young man did. Look at, look at the stick to itness that he had. And it's, it's not just him, even one of the superstars on the team. I mean, if you think about how Stanley Morgan mm -hmm. was used or not used in the first part of the year, it would have been really easy for either one of those guys to complain, to whine, to quit, to not give it everything they had. And neither one did that. They stayed with it. They're, they're true leaders, and I think someday as we look back on this, people will always remember Coach Frost's first team, That no matter what. I mean, everybody remembers it first. So what is it that they'll remember about this team? Well, we're going to find out over the next course of the next four games, call it, but one of the, one of the things they'll remember is Divine Zigbo and the performance that he had and the heart that that young man has showed, and they're going to remember Stanley Morgan. I mean, this is a senior. This is a guy that hopefully will get a chance to play on the next level. Two studs, really happy for them, happy for Coach. Um, happy that they found guys like that that they can really hang their hat on and sh show these young guys hey this is how you do it this is this is what it could be for you so really really proud of those young men yeah well this was fun matt hoskinson executive vp chad kelsey vp of sales truck center companies gentlemen it's a pleasure to sit down with you let's try and get this thing done tonight absolutely thanks a lot let's go get a w go big red